Journalists run toward trouble to sift through the chaos and deliver the facts. And when you've been at it for over 50 years, you learn a few things along the way. I think the life lessons apply. And in Terrence Smith's memoir, Four Wars, Five Presidents, he's sharing that hard-earned wisdom. They're kind of universal rules. Let's start with one that applies when you're traveling across the globe or even to another part of the country. Trust local knowledge. In 1974, when Turkey invaded the island of Cyprus, I went out to dinner with a local correspondent, Dean Braylis, who was Greek-speaking of Greek extraction, based in Athens, knew what was going on, unlike me. Let's check the tally board. Dean from the area spoke the language. Terrence, no and no. I bet him $10 that the Turks would not invade. I said, they're bluffing. That's silly. You can hear the karma train pulling into the station, right? About 5 a.m., I hear a lot of noise, and I go up onto the roof, and here come the Turkish troop transports. And at that point, Dean Braylis comes up next to me, and he simply put out his hand, palm up. So I put $10 into his hand. And this doesn't have to be about world events. Locals know the best mechanics, shortcuts, and that one food cart with the amazing street tacos. So listen to the local guy. All right, Terry, what's your next lesson from a life in journalism? Don't trust the obvious. Well, that just seems obvious. So wait, should I trust it or not? In the middle of the Vietnam War, I decided to move my wife and infant daughter into a house directly across the street from the presidential palace and just down the street from the Saigon Cathedral. So I had it knocked. I had the protection of the presidential palace and I had the Lord just down the street. Because who would bomb God's house, right? So I thought I was pretty smart. I smell a big butt coming. It turned out the Viet Cong would aim their rockets using the antenna of the presidential palace and the twin spires of the Saigon Cathedral as sort of Kentucky windage. And so night after night, the mortars came in. So not only would they bomb God's house, they were using the church spires to line up their shots. We were not injured, but it certainly suggested the old rule, don't trust the obvious, because the obvious can be wrong. Which calls to mind another journalistic adage. If your mother tells you she loves you, check it out. Oh, I triple sourced it. My mom was reasonably fond of me if the grades checked out. Finally, don't predict the future. In 1980, I went on live television and said that the American people were never going to pass up Jimmy Carter, a sitting president, in favor of a B-movie actor named Ronald Reagan. Hey, don't feel bad. It was only an electoral landslide, and he only went on to become one of the most influential politicians of the 20th century is all. As you say, don't trust the obvious and don't predict. Journalism's life lessons are at the top of the list.